Porn Stars or People Podcast. I'm here with Stella Von Savage. Is that? That is correct. Okay, good. That's I just me. Want to make sure I got all the things. Uh, we're in. Uh, where are we? This is South Beach, which I guess is different than Miami. Uh, apparently. Yeah. I've never been to Miami. This yeah. is my first time. I'm a Miami virgin. First time. Uh, first time in Miami. Wow. Not first time in Florida. First time in Miami. What do you think? It's the first. My first impression was just it's beautiful. Yeah. The landscaping. I love the the stucco Spanish. Feel okay, with sure. The, with the palm trees. Interesting. I feel like I've been drawing palm trees since I was a small child. Yeah. Like I just wanted to be at the beach. I want right. to retire at the beach, you know. And so yeah, this is just it's it's beautiful. This is not this is not like the retirement vibe though. This is no, the party. No, vibe. definitely this is not. Really yeah. I, I, I feel um um I feel offensive walking down the street in Pornhub attire because there's like there's little kids walking oh, around. Oh yeah. So yeah, well I didn't well, I fuck them. This that. is no. This is this is South Beach. This is where titties uh, belong. Well, it's definitely not. Um, uh, it's not a family-friendly en- environment. Yeah, I, I would say at least the strip is not. I haven't right, been outside the strip. Right, so. that's what it feels like. It feels like it's supposed to be where you come to this do dirty things. The party, yeah, yeah. This is like the party. Like strip. you go to Coral Gables if you want to bring your family, or like I was in this place <laughs> called Smyrna Beach, uh, which is like three hours north. Nobody around. Super private, like just chill out area. It yeah. was it was great. Like, like I, I got to like yeah. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> old people particularly, but yeah. But but basically, it was the vibe of just like chilling, right. uh, not having to do anything. Get a little grill, got a little pool. It was great. Not this. This is party. This is yeah. this is party central. So shit. This is like wait. This is like more days than. Uh, so I went to AVN and Exotica. Uh, this is like more days than all those things. Uh, I'm not sure how many days those are, but this is this is Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday and Friday is Friday. like a, a beach day, but it's included. So yeah. it's a four day event. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. That's nuts. And I'm, yeah, I'm surprised I'm still awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you you can run on adrenaline for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm I'm not a huge partier. So all these these late night parties. Yeah. So <laughs> are you going? You going to them? I have been. Yeah. Yes. Well, some of them are required of me sure. because I'm here for Pornhub. Yeah. But uh but yeah, I'm an early riser too. So We've been getting up early and and just walking the beach. In yeah, the morning, I never, I never, I never understood that. People that like uh, people that are early risers, they'll go to bed at four or five, like the one off night, and then they'll still get up at like six or seven. To that guy's just when my body wakes me up. I was like, I know, but you just went to bed <laughs> well, I didn't ten minutes ago. Late. Yeah, but uh, I mean, you know, I I guess I work off six hours of sleep anyway. Yeah, that's my normal. Yeah, so you know, going to bed at two in the morning, waking up at seven. Yeah, really not I can seven. do I can do six <laughs> hours. It's not my choice. It's You're not an eight my hour. favorite. Yeah, You're well, an eight hour structured. <laughs> no, it's not structured at all because I'm I'm always like running around, popping around, right. traveling the country, doing whatever. Sometimes we'll drive at night and then get to you know get to a pl- get to the place we're sleeping at like five after we do shows. So uh, it's not structured at all. But then like every once in a while, it just seems like if I if I let myself rock, I mean I could sleep till three p.m. four p.m. If yeah. And then feel like the worst, p- and you feel <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you go to get up, and then like the bank's closing, and you're like, "What? <laughs> what do you mean? I just woke up." Um, so yeah, man, it is. Um, it's a thing. I don't have you. I, so where I was, it's been every day around two o'clock, just downpour, crazy. Have you been getting that here? Uh, or you guys been getting good no, weather? No, we've been fortunate. It rained a little this morning. Yeah. Um, so I didn't get to go to the beach, which was kind of a downer. But um, it's been it's been really sticky. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, yeah, we're in it. You know. Dripping everywhere, yeah. but it's, yeah, what, but it's this still is nice. gonna be this is gonna be a different color by the end of the interview. <laughs> All right, I'm glad we have some YouTube content <laughs> for people to see this. It's only three minutes in, I'm already coming through it. Um, so wait, where are you based? I'm, I'm from Atlanta, Atlanta, so that's and where I stay. That's where you stay now. Cool. Um, it's very cool. Atlanta, uh, Atlanta's gotten to a, a point I found on this trip because I drove through there to get here. Uh, where if you're just on the road at the wrong time, oh, rush hour, that's your whole day, in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. They'll yeah, add like three hours. Two hours to get, you know, 10 minutes out the road. That's crazy. Absolutely. And yeah. you've been there for years and years. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've been around the Atlanta area yeah. since a child. Because I, w- so. I, I want to yeah. say I was there seven years ago, and it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Really? Well, the city's like always been, been pretty packed. I feel like they've, like, yeah. added they've like added all these, um, like, my I have some family in Alpharetta. I feel like mm-hmm. they've added all these, these like, outside communities. Yeah, Metro's building. Met- yeah. You're, uh, that makes sense. Metro's just all the metro cities just keep growing and it's just like atlanta is just a virus that's yeah spreading, i don't <laughs> spreading I, across if, the state if you're like if you're calling it a suburb and it's 45 minutes to an mm-hmm. hour out i think yeah. you got to just claim a new city right. by that point yeah, that's just, you're so just too. another city <laughs> like uh they would never allow you to call yourself like a suburb of new york city if you were an hour and a half or two hours mm-hmm. outside of it mm-hmm. well i mean i don't know how big atlanta is but you know it, it takes what? an hour it's to humongous. get 10 minutes yeah it's humongous <laughs> 
Absolutely humongous. So what? Uh, so what do you? I mean, what are you into? What are your favorite things to do? Um, I mean, you're down here with the beach culture now. It's way different than what than what happens in Atlanta. How do you like? How do you maintain sanity in Atlanta on the day to day? Oh, how do I maintain sanity? I, do you maintain sanity? Yeah, you figure out. You find something. Like for me, it's like I'll find like Dunkin' Donuts, and it might not be the best coffee, but it tastes the same. So I know I can get it, and I, and I know it's like even if I'm like I don't even know what city I'm in. I find a Dunkin', I get the Dunkin', and I just get my Zen for a sec. I know that's a weird. No, thing no, that's to zen not weird. I drink coffee. I yeah, but I know Duncan is the worst one to like zen somebody out. I drink, I, I do drink my morning coffee every morning, but um, I don't like it to taste like coffee. I like coffee that doesn't taste like oh, coffee. Oh, you just I drown it in a whole bunch of sugar jam creamer. it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> it's like it's a comfort, you know. It's like a warm hug on yeah. the inside. It's a comfort thing. I think that's where, where I, yeah, I think that's where we all start with coffee. Is just <laughs> jamming sugar into it. Yeah. Just like cereal. I was just, I was like remembering the days. I was talking to a buddy of mine. I was remembering the days of when, uh, when cereal was just whatever, like blanket, regular, like cornflakes, and then you would just <laughs> fucking, Krispies. you would just crush it with, sh- yeah, Rice Krispies, yeah, yeah. and you would and crush you don't it with sugar. sugar all over. Yeah. Just gray that was, that sugar all in the place. water. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And then you just drink that shit. Um, um, well, yeah. Yeah. May, um, I guess as far as the san- sanity maintenance, I'm, I'm a music lover. Sure. Just behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, so I like to listen to a lot of music. I have um, a, a lot of, I have a varied genre of music yeah. interest. It um, s- yeah. It's hard not to these days. Well, Justin Timberlake just put out a country album. Like every, like it's Did like, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm a huge Justin Oh, Timberlake you got to check it out. It's great. I, I, I will. I will definitely do that. Um, not, not so much Backstreet Boys. I was never into the boy band or yeah. anything like that, but Justin Timberlake, I don't know. Well, he's so creative. It looks like One Republic just put an album. I was bro- browsing through. It looked like they put an album today yeah. too. So don't okay. avoid that one. <laughs> okay. But check out Justin. Okay. Um, yes, will. What else? And then there's um, there's something great. There's I don't know if you care about Kanye West or his production skills. You know, I I I, I like this music. Yeah. Back when he first came out, sure. I can't remember what the album was, but I know I had it. And then after that, he just kind of lost my interest. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's Nothing fair. Against him. No, know, it's fair. Just, he's but his uh, his, the big thing going on right now is he's putting out a different album uh, for five weeks, and it's like Nas and Pusha T and all these other people. Mm-hmm. Well, his is in there, but he's putting out all these other people's albums. He's putting out uh, this female R and B. Yeah. yeah. So back to the roots. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, that's where he started, right? Um, so who's your, well, who are you, is there anybody you're, like, obsessed with that you're on Twitter, you're on uh, Instagram, and you're just, like, on their shit? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not very, I don't want to say not very good at social media, but I, I'm more of a, in real life, I will say, I'm more of a, a private person. I'm sure. A, I'm, I guess introverted, you say. I'm not shy or anything, but I just... I'm not social. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it that way. So I don't really stalk anyone on the <laughs> on, yeah. on social media. Well, that's the most <laughs> anti-social thing, right? Is to just look at somebody else's shit and be like, all right. I, well, maybe. May, well, I didn't have social media before I got into yeah. the adult. Int- I don't have Facebook. I don't right. have any of that. So I, I only have social media. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. Well, I mean, my parents are on Facebook. I mean, yeah. they're all, you know. That's how you know it. you're not missing anything. <laughs> I guess When so. your parents call and you go, I got a Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Come I, add me. <laughs> Be my friend. <laughs> exactly. I, I mean, I hear if it's important, I will hear about it. Like my sure. friends, my yeah. friends have my number. You know, call me if there's yeah. a party or something. They'll call me. Right. They'll let yeah. Me know. Yeah. You know. I've never, I've <laughs> never been invited to a party on Instagram, so I think, I think you're doing fine. You're doing okay. Fine. Um, um, but I, I do follow my, my favorite music artists. Yeah. Who's which that? Which are um, well, Incubus. I, my, no shit. You know my. Uh, okay. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. and, then, uh, and my morning view fish if you're an Incubus fan you okay no shit um, I got Deftones very um, cool so, so yeah I, I, my my eventual ink plan I have an ink plan okay um, well let's go <laughs> thru- let's go through it we'll sit well, down we'll review well, that's, it that's all really just to have a music sleeve <laughs> yeah know, of no shit so, so I, which um, which arm do you get down first I don't know both okay no <laughs> shit okay yeah, I never understood. I never understood the strategy. I never. Um, I, I. I. think I could easily be uh, enveloped into the lifestyle as soon as I get like one. Right. But whatever the first That's one is, I haven't found like the moment to need it, <laughs> and I'm afraid of it. Why? I just think I'm. I think I'll let it take over. You think it's because I do. Be I do enjoy. Like yeah, I do. <laughs> I do enjoy. Yeah, and then it's gonna take me. Like, and then it's gonna take somebody like an hour and a half to get from my ankle to my wrist. Right. Um. Because but you have to explain everyone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This, this, you do the yeah. thing. I this is what I find weird. I find it weird when you when you see somebody's art and you go, uh, I love this. Can you know tell me about it? And they can just say no. But then sometimes <laughs> people are like, I hate it when people ask me about my. T- you know what? I mean, then don't. Well, it's don't. like it's just like anything else. If somebody asks me about my shoes, somebody asks me about my shirt, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I can't get mad. 
about that experience. I can't relate to that. You can go, hey, I don't. <laughs> you can go, hey, uh, I'm not interested in talking about it. Yeah. Sorry, no. But like, you, you get mad. You put it on there. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not personal anymore. I mean, it is. Right. But well, you're you also displaying it. Yeah. I mean, right. You just make up something. <laughs> how, <laughs> how would they know? They I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just say so. Just oh no, I like yeah no, I like Bill Cosby. That's what that is, and then just walk <laughs> away. Just leave that one <laughs> and forever. And it's a picture of a baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's whatever we were hearing before us coming I out. I hope it's a toucan. I'm wanting to see I don't toucans. I, mean, I don't think <laughs> I don't think that's one of the things down here. I've never seen one. I'm just hoping for like this rainbow is to fly, it, isn't it fly it across the sky. It's super weird when, when we go to like a place that we know exists and then we see wildlife that we didn't expect. Like the, you guys remember the lizards? There's, li there's giant lizards here, You're, and I mean giant. And Atlanta's only uh, what, six hours from here. Right? Uh, yeah, about eight hours, I think. Okay, eight yeah. hours. So eight hours of driving, mm -hmm. you get a completely different type of creature. Like, right. there was an armadillo on the thing. I don't know if you have armadillos. Oh, we in have, they're, they're everywhere. They have them in Atlanta? <laughs> I'm yes. from New York. I don't have armadillos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never seen an alive armadillo. But you don't, because <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're always on the road. We <laughs> have, we have, we have, uh, we have possums. Oh, possums, yeah, possums. We have, we have possums. We have a lot of critters. Uh, that's the critters only thing the I see that's, that's, that's dead, not alive. Yeah. Like what did we do? I was uh, I was playing one of these like uh, uh, word games, and uh, one of the, the one of the things was otter the the other day, and I was like, and then I realized I don't have any otter information. I've never seen an <laughs> otter. They're so cute. I know, They're but like I, little doggies that swim. I was like, it's like a seal, but n <laughs> but not, but it's uh, yeah. warmer. Like I didn't know what to say. <laughs> do you have you where are, where do otters live? Do you have any otter knowledge? At the aquarium. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly. <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly, that's a good place to put them. Um, so what, uh, what, I'm, um, what else? So the, so you have your music, you have your, oh, I cut you off on all the music. You have Incubus, you have oh. Deftones. Who are your favorites? Well, you can cut me off at any time because I could just go no. on. Like I said, I no, I've been getting <laughs> trolled by my, I'm getting trolled by people that actually listen to podcasts that are telling me to shut the, they're telling me to shut up because I'm talking too much. Well, it's your podcast. I'm trying. I'm, tr I'm just <laughs> trying to engage. <laughs> I could um, yeah, yeah, I can give you a list. Um, uh, Manson, Manson and Nine Inch Nails are, are big no influence shit. me. Yeah. Um, now, so what do you think of Stone Sour? I only bring that up because uh, I know that they were on tour with some of those same people, and a couple of my friends are sort of in that world. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember Stone Sour from like the early two thousands. I, I guess they're still. I have n I don't have any information. Oh. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, it seems okay. On my side of Atlanta. Yeah. We don't. We have like one rock station. There's okay. Well, I guess two. There's like there's a classic rock, which I love classic rock too, but there's a classic rock, and then there's one alternative rock. Should we so shout it out? I don't get. Uh, one oh five seven. That's my station too. What's the what's like the what's the what's the thing? Is it like it's alt? It's alt. Alt. Well, alt. It's, like it's called alt one. Yeah, yeah but like they, but they always have like a okay yeah they always yeah, have yeah. like the the call the yeah. single is it alt one oh five seven. Yeah. So. So it's really whatever they play yeah. because I don't, I don't have free time. So I don't just like, oh, let's see what you know this band's up to. Yeah. You know? So whatever they're playing is what I hear. So I don't know. I guess maybe they don't play Stone Sour. I, d I don't hear a lot of the bands that are still yeah, or around. Yeah, that or I it's like happening. You don't know. Yeah, I yeah, get. Yeah. I, I get s so because I have a bunch of friends that are in that sort of like music touring world. I get super impressed of bands that are still happening that I didn't know were like happening. Like exactly. uh, New Kids on the Block. I know that I know you don't <laughs> like the book, but they toured like oh, like yeah. uh, like three years ago and it was hum it was a humongous tour. And I was right. like, really? But they and they're like, like, yeah, they crushed. They had to be. I mean. I, I, they had are, they're 50. I had a new kids on the block well, pillow when I was so <laughs> Mark. So Mark Wahlberg. This is like so this is the reference point. Mark Wahlberg uh, was the older brother of Donnie Wahlberg, right? Okay. And he's he's 50. So then the new kids are about 40, 45. Uh -huh. How old are you? Can we say it? Is it? Yeah, I'm 34. Public, public knowledge. So I'm 35. So we're in the uh -huh. same. So they're like 10 years, eight to 10 years older than us. Okay. That's the that's the okay. gap. So yeah. New kids on the block. I guess they're oh, still kicking oh, it. Oh, oh, I might be wrong. I'm actually he, uh, Donnie might be the older brother, but Mark got famous first, so that right. that's the perspective of when things happened. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Alt one oh five seven. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's a whole different world, man. So what? Look at this. This is, this is, this is horrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> I try. I try to play it cool. So like I wanted to play it cool and like wear shorts and do the whole thing, but I don't know. I was wearing, you know, n hardly anything yesterday, and still just. Yeah, you get like girls can get away with much much different uh, type outfits and have it be acceptable. Like I was I was looking at the other day, like I I accidentally put on a t-shirt before I put on my underwear, and it's have a dude just wear a t-shirt is the mo like when a girl wears it, it's 
incredible. It's like the greatest thing that ever happened. Right. right? right? Like a dude's man. And it's just like mm-hmm. coverage, like a dress. Dude wears it. It's, it's the saddest and most <laughs> aggressive and most. It's the movie that where he's. Across the floor. The yeah, no, yeah, but he's but he's wearing Tumbers. underwear in that. <laughs> so imagine imagine that with just with just a sad dick, but just like, like underneath it, because your dick's not ready to just be in a t-shirt. So it's just a sad dick, and you're like, this is terrible. They so call that the Donald Duck costume. The Donald Duck costume. Because yeah, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he but he wears like a doesn't he wear like a bow tie or something? What well, does Donald Duck wear? Uh, sailor hat. I'm yeah, picturing him with a sailor shirt, hat. Uh, and a do I want to fuck Donald hat. Duck? Why <laughs> do I picture him with a sailor hat? No, I think he wears that. As part of it. Yeah. Donald Duck is a sailor. Is Donald I the one that we can understand? No. Or is that no? He no, Donald's one we can't yeah. understand. Daffy, yeah, we can Daffy. understand. <laughs> Daffy's a dick. I don't keep up on my cartoons. Yeah, either. and <laughs> Donald is uh, isn't it? It's kind of crazy when when you think about it. I mean, you are you are my generation. So um, the uh, a lot of the people and the things that like influenced us are still around. Like, yes. Like that's when creativity stopped. <laughs> was when was when we came into the world. That's it. Something stuck around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of other shit that I don't know about, like Dragon Ball Z and all this other, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, and, and Bob the Builder and all these things. But right, yeah. Well, so, I mean, Sesame Street still around. Yeah. I, Sesame I Street is very angry right now because Melissa McCarthy is making a movie with the uh, with with Jim Henson's son, uh, where they're it's basically like an Avenue Q where like the puppets are like dirt balls. Oh, so Sesame Street's not. They don't so, want that image. Yeah. Well, so they they put in the they they. Uh, the ad says something like "All Street, no Sesame," something like that. So Sesame Street's trying to sue them. Yeah, All Sesame Street, yo. no Sesame. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're badass puppets. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're like fingering people or I don't know what they're doing. But it's um, it's supposed to be like uh, crude crude humor. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I can see why they be upset about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they but they did the best thing they possibly could. They said we're not Sesame Street. Well, there's plenty of other other uh, puppets. What's that American? Which one? You you have to know the 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 string puppets. Uh, it's American something. I can't remember. They're they're just the absolutely m- lewd. The mu- um. It, it, it's not muppets. It's it's puppets. You know, like string. Oh, puppets. like crank anchors and such. I don't remember. I don't know which one this is. Yes. Is a TV thing? Who are the dirty puppets? Uh, We're asking American for help. The the string puppet. They're like fighters. <laughs> I'm gonna sound ridiculous I'm trying to. Team America, America, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 those are the guys from South Park, yeah. So, well, I mean, there's so many other places, there's so many other companies, I guess, who take child's toys and and puppets and turn them into something. Yeah, I think they're just, yeah, I don't know why, they don't know why they were, it's just kind of, they were kind of like, it was like one of those things when somebody's like having a a fight with you and they're like, keep my, keep my name out of your mouth, like that's what Sesame (laughs) Street is doing. Like, keep my fucking name out of your mouth, don't even say my, and everybody's like, no, no, we were (laughs) were letting them know that we're not you, we were doing the right thing, and now you're being a dick. And so now we're going to pretend like we are. And it's great. I mean, it's they say, you know, such a thing as bad publicity. So now right. that's the that's the thing that's happening. That's that's the news. So how about movies? Are you, so are you up on movies? Are you up on what do you do pop culture? Not a whole lot. Um, I, I do watch movies, but they tend to be like older movies that yeah. came out years ago. And I'm just now getting around to seeing somebody them. Uh, this week said that they just saw Basic Instinct. And then we had to talk oh, about yeah, Basic that's Instinct. That's really old. Yeah. I was like, I don't have a lot of Basic Instinct <laughs> information anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's been too long. I forgot about <laughs> that. Um, my my favorite movies are older movies, so I like The Matrix. Yeah. Um, I'm you know I, I guess you can call me nerdy. You know, yeah. I'm a little nerdy, so this I like is in that. line like, with like everything. Right, right. Um, I, Princess Bride. I know that's it's the one. That's the jam. And uh, but it's, it's just one of my favorites. Story. I uh, it's it's at, well, it's everything, right? Because it's like right. it's um, it's, it's action, an allegory. It's, it's action. Story. It's all the things, and it's yeah. also sort of like. It doesn't take itself too seriously, so like it's also <laughs> going. We're not actually a fairy tale. Relax. Yeah. Um, I put it down. I was doing like uh, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how auditions go in your industry, but auditions in my industry are, st- are very dumb. And a lot of times, <laughs> it has nothing to do with what you're gonna do. So they were like, uh, "Tell us a story. Tell us about your favorite movie." And I put down uh, Princess Bride. And apparently, they thought I was talking about the Princess Diaries because they sort of like <laughs> laughed me out of the room. And I was like, "No, like marriage, like marriage." Yeah. And they're like, "We don't know what's going on right now." And they How had no do idea. I don't. I don't know if I don't How know if do they were know? older than me or younger than me, but they didn't know what it was, and it really wow. upset me. Yeah. Uh, I just watched the Andre the Giant documentary, which is basically <laughs> about that whole thing. It's great. Right. Yeah. I haven't. I've I've seen clips of it. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of sad, isn't it? it? Well, it is. Yeah. I mean, uh, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, you know how Marley and me, uh-huh. like the dog dies. Like every dog movie, the dog dies at the end. Yeah. So we knew what was like. We knew he was right. going to die at the end. Yeah. That's the movie. 
was was uh, was a man with giantism dies. Yeah. So we kind of we. He's still, but he's still lovable, you know. Yeah. He's he's like the big teddy bear. You sure. Know, that's, that, so it's sad. Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> I mean it's sad. It's there are there are tragedies in the world. I mean he was gonna die eventually, and he did it. We knew he was. De- you know what I mean? We knew he yeah. was. He didn't die from anything like terminal. He just sort of like quit. And was like, I guess that's it. I'm a giant man, and I'm not gonna fix it. <laughs> like he's just like a we. He's just like a weird. He like reminds me of all my Italian relatives. They're just like, I'm not gonna like he's. I'm not gonna fix it. They don't fix things. They, yeah, they just go <laughs> out. That's the end. That's okay. the end of life. Yeah. You know, they don't fix relationships. They just like if you like uh, get in an argument with them, that's like you're just cut out of the will. Like it's like one of those okay. things. Yeah. That's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> like if somebody doesn't like wish me a, a, a happy birthday on Facebook, I'm just like he, he's out you're of the done. will. He's yeah. out of the will. Yep. I don't even know that guy anymore. <laughs> So okay, so so are you are you an animal person? Are you a, a, a kid person? What are you like? What are you? What are you into? That's that's tiny and cuddly. Uh, well, I'm I'm an animal lover. Yeah. I don't. You wouldn't know it because I don't own any animals yeah. right now, and it's specifically because I don't have time. For yeah. Them. It's just. I, you can be an outside lover. I love children, but I'm not trying to have one. Right. <laughs> They're a lot of work. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just I feel like I've I've always had a dog up yeah. until maybe. No shit. Yeah. I mean just. I can remember we I have baby pictures of dogs. Yeah. But you know, up until um, I guess a few years ago when we moved we moved into a new house and I just don't have time. I feel it's like a commitment. A, a dog yeah, a dog needs time. Yeah. They need, you know, time up front. They need, you know, time to play with you and, and bond and, and stuff. You don't want to leave a dog at and home all day. And rub the belly and all right. that. Yeah. yeah. They need I'm attention. I'm missing my fair. I'm missing my dog Harcourt right now. She was gonna come on this trip Aww. and then she didn't because I, I sort of um, the only p- there was like two parts of the trip that were up in the air. And then normally my solve is just she chills in the car, uh, and then we're fine. And it's like it's usually like spring or like fall, but yeah. like Miami, dog in the car no. to chill yeah, for like yeah. 15 minutes. That's a dead dog. Bad I'm not trying idea. to kill my yeah. yeah so, definitely. so I had to leave. I had to leave her with the folks. But it, it's a commitment. But like uh, for me, it was like I just decided I could uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna commit to it, then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna add all the things so that she just comes. Like she's like right. the, she's like the tour mascot. Yeah for all the the comedy touring stuff yeah. and then also she sort of like she sort of solves any like uh, uh human interaction that i have yeah. that doesn't they go do great that. right i just go hey just go go sit with the girl i, yeah. I said something i shouldn't have said can you just fix that real quick or like go Look go up to the dog. owner He's yeah so go up to the owner yeah <laughs> rub tess's belly everything's f- everything's solved right yeah. right well i have fish okay uh, they don't require a no so wait, who no. takes care of fish so. when you go what, the neighbors yeah. just bring the fish tank over. Oh, did you just bring it over? Well, it's a tiny. I mean, it's just like a little. Yeah. Uh, two gallon, I guess. You know what I found? Uh, when I finally realized the other day that uh, that my parents killed my snail. Oh. I had a snail when I was in first grade. We went on vacation. We actually went to Florida, um, and I came back and they said that uh, that the that the girl. This is my first crush, Laura Taransky, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> they said that her parents killed the snail. On and purpose? I. No, oh. I believe them, but like then I realized that my parents probably just threw the snail in the trash, and like we went on vacation. It was just a snail. Like who cares? Uh, who cares? That was your. I snail. mean, I cared. That's my snail. Like Honestly, I wish I remember what his name was. But um, <laughs> and then now every time I, I open peanut butter, I remember. Uh, uh, I I like you know how sense is the. That's what he ate. He ate. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. I was trying to make that connection there. Yeah. The he, s- no, you. Yeah, you just put. That's how they told you. They just put peanut butter on the counter, and then he would fucking like slime over, eat it. Yeah. And then I'm not a snail lover. No, I, nobody I really, nobody really can be. Okay. <laughs> I think my parents thought I was gonna like have the snail like a week or two, and I had yeah. it like a couple months, and they were like, "Enough is enough." Was he a lot of upkeep? Or no, he's I mean just a fucking snail <laughs> in the house, though. <laughs> no, he's not in a cage. I mean, he's in the cage. He's okay. not just walking around the house. But yeah, I mean, oh. and they were probably they honestly like. I wonder if they just planned a Florida trip just so they could kill the snail. <laughs> just get rid of the snail. Like just, just like it's oh. time. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. I, 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 I had a similar story. We had a, um, my dad brought home a cat that he found off the side of the road, just a little kitten off the side of the road. And that was the first time we ever had a cat. We were always dog people, our family, you know. Um, so, yeah, a little kitten running around just tore up the house. We called no. it Miss Kitty. I, I guess it was a girl. I think we just named it Miss Kitty. We wanted it to be a girl. Yeah, when you're little, uh, cats are girls and dogs, dogs are, are boys. boys. Exactly. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> Our yeah. fucked up society. Uh, tore up the house, and uh, so yeah, my parents said, you know, that's that's it. You know, once they climbed up the curtains and did the whole, you know, cliche cat tearing, yeah. tearing the curtains. Yeah, I didn't down. know that was real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it happened. It happened. 
just came down like uh, 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 John Mulk's booth, just, just fucking yeah. down the thing. <laughs> yeah, just the whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, put it outside, and then the neighborhood dogs. We lived um, in like a dead end, dead end road. It was yeah. real quiet, and so everybody would just let their dogs run around. Yeah. So yeah, we put it outside. It had a little jingle bell collar. Yeah. And we, he- I heard it like run into the woods, and then never heard it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the dogs just chase after it. No shit. Like, yeah. Well, see, I have this. <laughs> I, I do have this feeling like people always have this thing with their dogs, where if you open the door, the dog will run out. And then, like, you can't get the dog back for, like, hours. But if I open the door, my dog chills. Like, my dog's like, no, I'm going to stay with him. Like, he's, he, like, he's my guy. Well, you train, you know. you have. Yeah, <laughs> but more than that, like, she actually likes to be around me. Like, I just feel like if, you, if your dog or your cat runs away, like, he hates you. Like, he doesn't, <laughs> he's not into you. Not necessarily be true, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> they just want freedom, you know. Well, hey. the, but they would come. I feel like cats come back, right? Isn't that isn't that a, isn't uh, that a song that's actually? The only this is literally a song. And the cat came the back. Cat came back. I yes. thought he was a goner, <laughs> but the cat came back. <laughs> but he came back. Um, yeah, I, I, that's the only cat I've ever owned. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we only had it for a couple of weeks. Own, yeah, owned is. <laughs> Owned is a is a little aggressive for this for particular story. Yeah. For the for the yeah. like for the for the for the Whatever longevity. Yeah. 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 Like Whatever I is. listen, I owned a snail. Uh <laughs> but I don't know if you owned a cat, really. True. That's funny. Very true. So nothing. So you got nothing now, nothing in the animal. Nothing now. We got the, I, I wait, what's the fish called? I want a dog so bad. Um I You don't even know what your fishes are Yeah, name. well, <laughs> Is fishes? Is that a thing? Fishes? <laughs> so one of them's name is Stripe. I didn't name the fish. I inherited the fish. Okay. So one of them's name is Stripe. The other one's Hercules. That's you can it. rename. You can rename the I fish. I could, but <laughs> I, I really don't call them by their name. They don't name. respond to their <laughs> name. Yeah, fish. there's really no reason. They yeah. respond to me when yeah. I walk in. Oh, they, I know, they know it's time. Yeah, you know, for sure. They're like, Ooh. Food time. Let's look <laughs> lively. She's coming. Hurry up. I'll tease them sometimes. like with my. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're the worst. That's so mean. <laughs> Yeah, the worst. Although that's they're, they're good fish, though. I feel like that's what that's all I want to do. Like with anything that I like love is I just kind of want to tease it. Yeah. Like I fuck with my dog. Makes you feel in control. Yeah. <laughs> I just I fuck with my dog. My dog will just be walking by and I'll just fucking I'll just grab her tail real quick. Like just, <laughs> just you know, what she's out of nowhere. Yeah. Play play fake fish. Yeah. Fake fake fish. I didn't know you could. Uh, I didn't know you could scare a dog. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. I did one of these like hide and seek things the other day with my dog. I scared the shit out of her. <laughs> she was. She's not gonna stay beside you very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. No, now see, now I'm in a position because I've been traveling so much. Uh, I I haven't slept in my own bed since like November for more than like a night. Um, oh so now I'm like leaving a real place because I went to South Africa. I'm going back. I'm gonna go to London. I'm doing all these things, and wow. so now I'm leaving with my parents, which is good for my parents. But one of these days I might come home and she's like, Nah, uh, I, I'm gonna, I've had enough. Yeah. I'm, I live here now. <laughs> these are my people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. I've heard I've heard those stories before. People get a dog and then they just end up. It ends up living at their parents' house. Well, you're the parent. I think that's you more. Back, yeah. I think that's always. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's more of an uh, irresponsible owner thing than anything <laughs> you else. Know. <laughs> you know. You have a busy schedule though. Yeah. Man, that, that's a lot of traveling. No, it's I tough. thought mine was busy. <laughs> yeah. Where are you next? Uh, so what do you have coming up? Um, I don't have anything after this, do I? Thank goodness, no, not yet. Anyway. Yeah. You know, but uh, it's been. It's been nonstop since like I don't want to say I overbooked myself here, but I was trying to take advantage of being in Miami. Right. <laughs> you know, while I'm here. Yeah. But, um, you look. You look. Once you look. When you look at an empty calendar, <laughs> you're like, oh, there's like 17 hours in a day that I can utilize. I can do 17 <laughs> days, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you get in, you're like, you did. I did four, and I'm exhausted. Yeah. One of those was breakfast. Right. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't want to say I overbook myself because I'm still, you know, I'm still doing everything. It's yeah, like zero and you're so happy change. to be on the Porn Stars of People podcast. Absolutely. So. Oh, <laughs> it is. Hey, I was early. Yeah. Was <laughs> well, well, I came. I mean, to be fair, I came to you. I, no, I met you. No, I, mean, I know. I came. I came. Oh, oh, yeah, I drove right. four hours. You drove four yeah, hours yeah, yeah. for here. Oh yeah. my goodness. No. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, w- so what's okay? So tomorrow, are you actually? The beach day? Are you actually using it as a chill beach day? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm leaving. Um, I'm leaving in the morning. So okay. I won't be here for for the whole beach day. Um, I'm I'm gonna sh- maybe <laughs> try yeah. to go to the beach. Uh, hopefully the rain will hold, so it'll yeah. be. Yeah. It's nice not tempting. It looks pretty go good. I might on the beach on the rain. There's no harm in that, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. no. I my my rain distance is like as long as I'm like I can go directly back to my house. I don't want to get into a car wet. I don't want to go in go other places as long as I can get directly back to my house in the wetness. <laughs> yeah. The rain the rain is a fun is a fun experience. Yeah. Well, right now, I mean, we're I'm 20 steps away you're also, from Yeah, the you're also not really wearing anything that's going to retain any moisture. Well, true. Yeah, I have. So you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. You can find all those things. Um so yeah, uh, what else? So this okay. So this so the the reason you came to this was not for the cannabis uh, 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 
Uh, no, I, I, I don't smoke. No? I mean, there, I, I have nothing against smoking. Yeah. Just, I, I I, isn't it so weird we live in that society where you go, I don't smoke, and you go, no, you can smoke. You have to, you yeah. have to give that disclaimer. You can do it. I don't, yeah. I don't drink, but you can do it. You have to give that disclaimer. Yeah. I mean, at least I feel like I have People to. feel judged. I wanna, yeah, yeah. I don't want them to feel like I'm judging. Yeah. And, I mean... I guess the other way I think it's dumb. It, people are going to judge me anyway. So, but I don't I don't want to be offensive to yeah. someone and I feel like sometimes saying I don't murder I don't yeah, no, yeah. I don't want to <laughs> anybody you can murder it's fine. I just don't it's I not who I am. Right. So you're not here for yeah. what is it called? Cannab uh, um, cannab yeah, con cannabis well, con? Yeah, this year is the first year that they've combined these. I guess each of these cons, these conventions have been existing uh, you know before now, but now yeah. they're combining it. I they're Similar industries, yeah. I guess they kind of work together well. So are porn they and are, porn are they and weed, marketed? yeah, well, yeah. Well, there's, it's just kind of, I don't want to say a fetish, but it's just it's a like, genre. You yeah, know, it's a like lot of these it's like you're not supposed to do this, <laughs> but it's so much fun. Right, I guess that's the appeal. Maybe. What is it? Oh, one oh five seven. Yeah, so all these are together this year. I I haven't had the opportunity. So it's three things. Three, three so cons. it's yeah, uh, um, cam. Uh, cam con cam con for you know the webcam yep. industry. Then you have inked con for just tattoo in- people. Magazine is here. Yes. Uh, well, they have um, celebrity tattoo artists. Okay, here. very cool. I haven't. And then there's cannabis con. So yeah. They're all three kind of in a row here. Oh, that's that's you should be you should be finish finishing your sleeve right now. I I well. I I would. <laughs> See, Pornhub brought me down yeah. for CamCon, so I'm here representing Pornhub. Yeah. Um, shout out I, Pornhub. I, yes, shout out Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be a fun seminar to just watch you get tattooed, though. I, for it everybody. Would be fun for me. Everybody to get would win. I know, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I, I don't. I've been stuck at the Pornhub, not not in a bad way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I really enjoyed it, but I haven't been able to see putting in work. Rest the rest of the, the yeah. cons so they they've been migrating throughout so right. I've, gotten, I've, I've been able to talk to some people there was a giant blunt i guess yeah a giant oh butt, it's, fun. a, a butt. it's funny <laughs> when it's funny when you see when you see the the convention that you're involved in uh via like a parade of them like leaving you're like oh i didn't know there was a giant blunt yeah, here yeah, exactly he's leaving now but <laughs> that's exactly what it is yeah. I'm like, oh, look at that you don't, so yeah, you don't get around. I, the, I, I tried to go to AVN, and I, I don't think I got. I don't think I stepped foot in it one time. I think I, I did like twenty interviews in three days. It was one of those things oh where I was man. like, "You." I looked at the yeah. schedule, and I was like, "I could do it." Right. Seven in, in a day, theory. no problem. <laughs> Seven theory, hours of okay. podcasting. I was like, man. Uh, ugh. "I have a sore throat." Yeah. Um, yeah. I, um, I did get to see a little bit of inked. Cool. Um, I had there was inked casting. Um, for the magazine. Okay. And I guess for Inked TV that they have, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Um, so I did the casting and then went back for the shoot. So nice. I, that's, I've been just not yeah. double booked, but really crammed, <laughs> crammed yeah. my schedule. So Inked. So yeah. Can, what, so wait, what's the Cannabis Con called? Is it really called Cannabis it's Con? Cannabis Con. Okay. That's I, the name. It didn't sound right to me. I say, it sounded yeah. like I was making up a That's thing. That's what it is. Cannabis Con. I don't, I don't know what they're doing the over wonderful there. I think event. they're having seminars um, where CamCon had their seminars. Yeah. So I don't know what they're about. I haven't had a chance to go over there. And I've never research. been, uh, I've never known enough about weed. I didn't know enough about weed when, when it wasn't legal in most places. Mm-hmm. And now that it is legal in most places, the amount of knowledge that people have about weed uh, yeah. Blows my mind Absolutely. and makes me uh, incapable of having a conversation. Yes, I'm right there with you. And it, I mean, it's still illegal in Georgia, but yeah. there's 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 connoisseurs. I mean, yeah. there's all kinds of. I mean, there's uh, and I don't know the term. I don't know the technical terms yeah. for these things. But there's like hybrids, and they're you know they're good for certain. Yeah, I just know sometimes people say sativa to me, and I go, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, 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 sativa, yeah, sure. I, I don't even know what that. Yeah, is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they said it'll make you mellow. I was like, I, whatever you want. Um, <laughs> And then once, yeah, as soon as as soon as the conversation goes, well, it's got low THC and high. Once right, it, whatever right. the other one is, um, yeah, the other <laughs> chemical, I don't, I'm out. They, they have these gummies that they're. They yeah, I'm terrified. Out. I don't, I don't think they get you high. I, I'm not an expert, but uh, I think they're they're for pain relief. Yeah. So some kind of you know, if you're into the herbal, right, herbal natural. CBD. That's what CBD. It's there you CBD. go. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. Right. There was somebody. There was somebody yelling at the podcast at that moment. Like CBD, you moron. <laughs> Just somebody at home, hopefully listening. Right. Ho- right. Hopefully someone's <laughs> listening out there. Uh, CBD. Yes. Yeah, CBD oil. All that stuff. Right. All I know is uh, my cousins have always been on top of things. So for some reason, like all the hot spots in America, there's all these great weed places. Schenectady, New York, has been has Say that again? Schenectady. S- 
Schenectady? Yeah, that's where I was that's born. Uh, I never oh lived my there, but my, my cousins are there. And uh, I don't want to shout them out by name, actually. That's kind of fucked up because uh, it's still illegal in New York. But they, don't uh, rat out your they're, family, they're fantastic, and they're always on top. So like every time I'm there, they got like some new things. They're like, oh, it's wax. I'm like, cool, I'll try wax. And I smoke it. And they're like, oh, it's uh, it's hash oil. I'm like, cool, I'll try. And I, every time I get fucked up, and it's like and it's like a, almost like a almost like a full day experience. Wow. From just like I just walk in real quick. Hey, cousin, smoke real quick. Walk out, drive a car, and then I like I've been driving for like six hours, and I think it's been like ten minutes, and I'm like, what the hell's so happening? You're just done. Yeah. Done every that. time. Yeah. Schenectady best. As far as I'm concerned, Schenectady best weed in America. Okay. So cool. Yeah. Um. So thanks for doing the podcast. This is this is fun. This has been a good time. Um. Do you have things to promote for people? Uh, how do people access you? Uh, I am on social media. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how do they pay? How do they pay for things uh, and 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 help you cre- uh, uh, maintain your livelihood? Yeah. Um. There, uh, there's several different ways you can watch my Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> um. It's free. Um. But you can also access me. Find out anything you wanted to know. Um. Twitter. Stella Von Savage. I keep it really simple. Yeah. Instagram, Stella Von Savage. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, just Google me. It seems like uh, it seems like people are getting all their stuff stripped away. Like Instagram was was uh, was was uh, doing things. Uh, they some, still do. Somebody was doing something about shadow banning. I don't know what any what all the terms are. But so it's like uh, you get your name, which is so important, and then it's like uh, people, yeah, and then people lose their name. Yeah. And yeah, they have to start adding problem. things onto it. Right. Yeah. So you you add like a hyphen or, yeah. or an underscore. Underscore or hyphen X's. Uh, miss, Mister, Mistress, Goddess, right. yeah, 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 <laughs> Goddess. Yeah. I'm not into the the whole Goddess. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, so she so said, ins- <laughs> ins- "You're a what?" I'm a real person. You're yeah. a real, or a human being. <laughs> right. No offense to any of the goddesses right, out there. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> so, so it's Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. I don't have no, Snapchat. No, Snapchat. Yeah, I don't. Not yet. I and. And everyone You missed it, it's over. It might be done, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of girls It's perfect that, for this industry. It is. Yeah. It is. And and that's how a lot of girls I mean, that's all they do. Yeah. Snapchat. And and the premium thing has taken over in the last probably I would say less than a year. Because I remember it wasn't it wasn't necessarily because I didn't so I had decided I want to do this podcast like a year ago and then I basically went to the A V N awards by watching people Snapchat. Wow. Yeah, like I was just like I was like, oh, dude, I didn't know he was there. Like it was like a buddy of mine was uh, I was hosting and all there's all the stuff going on. I was like, watch. And then uh, with with so after that, uh, they started putting the the like you know all the all the girls in this industry were doing uh, the private stuff and guys right. in this industry yeah. using the private stuff. So it, so that's my timeline. Was I know for sure that it's been like about a year yeah. where you could just go, hey, just give me eight dollars and then you can have my Snapchat for the rest of the year. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess eight dollars a month or something. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, everyone has their own prices. They vary yeah. greatly, you know, just depending on who it is. But, yeah, see, I don't have the social media, you know, for myself. Yeah. So I guess I, I miss the uh, I miss the value in those because I don't use them. Yeah. You know, I don't well, I'm them. telling you, do it. Do the thing. <laughs> do the thing, damn it. Do um, the thing. Well, so yeah, I was I try to, I try to pitch it at the end of it. I think I think uh, novice people uh, and people that can find porn on the internet for free don't understand that maybe if they found the inter- if the if they found the porn for free that maybe there was no other money involved. So please pay for your porn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just because you know something's free on Pornhub, I th- I add value, you know, to to the things that you'd want to pay for. Right. You know, that's that's kind of how I um, I scale my business. Yeah. You know? So you know, Pornhub. Well, let me reverse that. On my clip sites are where I put my clips where I've, I've invested a lot of time. You know, you're going to get a higher quality. Yep. You're going to get, like, a set involved, you know, costume maybe, depending on what yeah. it is. You know, it's scripted. They're longer videos. It's just a better quality. I like that you see so you. <laughs> I, could t- I can tell that you've been uh, pumping Pornhub all weekend. Cause you're just like, go to Pornhub. And now, and now you're like, oh, no, 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 go to my site. Go to my site. No, no, no. I, but on the opposite, yeah. you know, of Pornhub, you know, not that it's um, – I don't want to say it's low quality, but Pornhub Pornhub does reduce the yeah. quality for some of the videos. It's still good stuff. It's shorter, it's, it's broken up, it, it's, it's whatever, and it's uh, and it's one of the biggest providers, and it's the one of the most Google things on earth. Absolutely. But once they found you, they mm-hmm. can they can go to your how do they go to your clip site? Um, well, I have links. On okay, directly from Pornhub. Cool. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, cool. Uh, thank you for doing the podcast, uh, Stella Von Savage. Uh, check her out, follow her, do the things. Uh, we have a new episode every Sunday. We're on iTunes, we're on Google Play. We got some uh, YouTube content. You can see us both sweating, mostly me, uh, on this episode. And uh, thank you so much to my guest. Thank you.